I'm Dan Jokic with Balif, and today I'm going to be talking about our newest iteration of our level detection demo. Here you'll find a myriad of ways through Balif's extensive product portfolio to achieve an accurate and precise sense of level detection. Starting with an overview of each of these solutions, uh, we've got a range of different sensors here, sensors and housing and mounting options. Um, we have capacitives that are mounted externally of the tank that'll still give you level detection because they're able to sense through the non-conductive acrylic exterior and that'll be suitable for point level kind of detection. But we also have internally mounted housing options, also capacitive technology. Um, that'll give you also point level uh, detection there. All of these are rated IP67 um, with the exception of these high and low capacitives and this Teflon um, capacitive face and housing option being rated IP66. In addition to just point level kind of detection, we have sensors and options that'll be able to detect level throughout the tank entirely. Um, so we have an IP67 rated linear transducer that actually has a float attached to it. That float has a magnet in it and as it goes up and down that linear transducer, it'll give you exact and precise analog reading of that level. You'll get the same kind of reading, analog reading with this capacitive strip tape. This is, uh, requires an amplifier, but as a 3M adhesive on the back side of it, you just stick it to the exterior of the tank. Again, like the other capacitives, it'll be able to ignore the uh, acrylic exterior and it'll give you that analog reading of tank level as it you know, rises and falls. Lastly, we have an IP67 rated ultrasonic, which would require a cutout at the top of the tank, but that'll again be able to give you an analog reading of tank level as it goes up and down. In addition to all those options, lastly, we've got a specialized infrared fork uh, photoelectric sensor. That is actually hooked up to our sight glass system where that is, uh, it's specialized for seeing, you know, through an exterior sight glass and actually catching level um, or water level in that sight glass. So as long as that's fixed at the position you'd like, that'll also be able to give you an accurate level reading. Let's go ahead and see this in action. Before I turn the demo on, however, uh, I'll point out that we have a variable flow meter here too. As you can see right now, it's not giving us any output, there's no flow. As I turn on the demo, the pump activates, flow goes through the pipes, it'll give us a variable flow reading. And now we can start to see a few things happening here. These two capacitors mounted externally of the tank here, we can see this one is act has actually activated already. That's because this is our standard capacitive sensor. It's capable of ignoring the non-conductive acrylic exterior, but the water running down the side of the tank, that will be enough to activate it. The hybrid capacitive, however, you can see it is not activated yet. That's because it's a smarter variant. It'll be able to ignore the non-conductive exterior and the water running down the exterior of the tank, or the interior of the tank. That means it'll only activate once it sees the actual true level of the tank reach where it's mounted. In addition to that, our analog sensors are now providing a uh, true sense of level throughout the tank. Our linear transducer with the float is beginning to rise as level increases. Capacitive strip tape is gonna give us an analog reading as the level increases, and the ultrasonic at the top is also gonna give us that reading as the level is increasing. You can also see now our point level kind of setup detected uh, capacitives are going off now. The stainless steel, that's uh, for high temperature, high pressure um, environments has been activated. It has a Teflon sensing surface um, internally mounted. This is a brass capacitive sensor for high temperature environments, also with a brass sensing surface internally mounted. And this Teflon um, capacitive actually has a Teflon sensing surface that is removable from this Teflon housing that is obviously also internally mounted for eas easily uh, removable and uh, replaceable part. And then now, as you can see, level has reached the hybrid capacitive. It is now activated. Again, only when the level has reached that capacitive. And now you can see that the sight glass has filled up to a level where we have our infrared fork sensor mounted. It's at that point and that'll activate, um, giving us 
again, a point level detection. So now you can see the uh, high level capacitive has been activated. That's telling our pump to turn off. Now the level is going to start to recede. You can see already these capacitives have deactivated. Um, our sight glass is deactivated. We're going to begin getting an adjusted um, analog reading from our analog sensors. Um, as it's receded, you see the Teflon white sensor has been deactivated. That will continue down until we reach this low level capacitive. Once the level hits that, it'll activate and it'll tell the pump it's time to turn back on and the process will begin again. The final part of the demo here showcases some additional reliability you can get with valve sensing technology. This IP68 uh, rated capacitive sensing head is another smarter variant we offer where you can see here the sensing head is actually covered and coated in these coffee grounds but we're not actually getting an activation of the sensor yet. The only time that will actually give us an activation is when the sensor is actually touching the bulk media level of these container, vessel, whatever you have of coffee grounds. So that is just an additional option from Balif where liquid level is not involved and if you're looking at something like more like a bulk media. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in more information, please be sure to visit balf.com.